Hey all, welcome back to Mario Adventure. Let's find out what this level is. I guess it's an obstacle course made out of note blocks. Whoa. Yeah, this hack is actually pretty creative. I'm really surprised how many hacks there are for Super Mario Bros. 3, because I know there's a big GUI editor for Super Mario World called Lunar Magic, but apparently there's a user tool for Super Mario Bros. 3 hacks, too. I don't think that's what they used for this, though, because they used a bunch of stuff that wasn't in the original game. Am I done? Yes, I am. I got a coin. I got Hammer Brothers! Just that I want... what the... Is that a glitch? Oh well, who cares. Yeah, I don't think the Hammer Brothers are appearing again. Or appearing, period. Oops. I'm actually kind of surprised that I survived the first time without dying or having to rewind or anything. But let's get the heck out of here. Apparently this is not completely without glitches, but still pretty dang impressive. I'm actually pretty surprised to... Yep, we get the same thing. Hopefully we're not stuck in an infinite loop. No, we're not. Alrighty then. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. And I just erased a mushroom. With another mushroom. I guess only one power-up can show up at the same time. I don't know. Whoa, Fire Brothers. Yeah, these guys are in every frickin' Super Mario Bros. 3 hack. I'm kind of surprised that I don't see that in Super Mario World hacks that are trying to be hard, but... I guess the Hammer Brothers are just the ones that are easy to make. It's really easy to make levels difficult with the Hammer Brothers. Because you stick, just stick like 50 of them in the level and it's pretty hard to dodge the hammers and crap that are everywhere. And you can tell why the, where the hidden coin blocks are going to be. Because they block the rain for whatever reason. Oh, it's Boom Boom. He's that... that was embarrassing. He was that mini-boss turtle in the original game. I really wish there was a fast forward button, but the fast forward doesn't seem to work quite like I would expect it to in this emulator, so I'm just not going to bother with it. Oh great. Here we go with the piranha plants and munchers and everything. I fell for the exact same thing. Well, let's go the other path then. No prana plants. Good. You know something kind of funny? I'm instead of playing, you know, this, which actually isn't that difficult. I've been playing some bullet hell shooters and another game called Bunny Must Die, which is this pretty difficult platformer type game. And I just think it's funny that I'm playing all of these really difficult games instead of... and I don't find them frustrating at all, but I don't particularly look forward to playing tax and stuff, just... I don't know, it just annoys me when I die in Mario stuff, but if I die in something that's ridiculously hard, I don't mind much at all. It's just like... It's nearly impossible from the start, so I just don't mind. It's actually sort of comforting that it's next to impossible for whatever reason. Can I get up? Yep. This must be something they did a lot in the original... Okay, we just randomly leave the level. But anyway, I noticed that a lot of the Super Mario Bros. 3 hacks tend to do that, where you'll have to use an invisible coin block to get up the pipe that's too high to jump normally. 
That just seems weird from a design perspective, because I just don't think when I see this impossible jump that, oh, I should just jump and there'll be a hidden coin block there. But maybe they did it a lot in the original game too, and I just don't remember it because I didn't play that game that much. And why can't I kill this freaking guy? I just glitched myself. I should probably use normal save dates if I'm gonna die this much. I'm gonna die a whole lot, aren't I? Oh, come on. I don't remember ever fighting these freaking giant hammer brothers in the game either. Yay, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of the... I actually do have an original NES now, and it came with a copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 and the first one too, but I never finished either of them because I'm really just not the biggest fan of NES games because the controls just... Well, the controls in this game are... In the original Super Mario Bros. 3, they're actually really good, at least for of original NES game. So I just noticed that in most of the games the controls are pretty terrible, honestly, but figures. But what was I saying? Something about controls. And I'm still not used to the fireballs going forward. I'm not entirely sure why they do, but I guess it's sort of nice. can't slide into the fire. Well, maybe you can, because in Super Mario World, sliding... Warping Mushroom. In Super Mario World, the uh, slide kills pretty much everything. Come on, Mushroom. Come here. Thank you. Those give you 50 coins? Wait. Oh, I have to go up there, don't I? And I have to jump despite the frickin' fireball thingy. It's not even a fireball, it's just fire. Aw, oh, come on. Don't care. Okay, now I care. Is this where I went before? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, I can get out this way. I think. There seem to be sort of lots of puzzly type things in his levels so far, but I just have a tendency to get lost too, so maybe that's why. And freaking ice physics. Yeah, I hate you too, ice physics. Whoa. Come on, Mario. Oh, great. Yeah, the rewinds in this emulator are sort of awkward, but... Most NES emulators don't even seem to have rewinds, so I can't really complain. Ooh, and it's not snowing now. Wonderful. That's not even sarcastic. Can we leave this level now, though? Apparently we can't. Well, screw you two, level. Are they invisible invi coin blocks or something? I'd be pissed if there are. I still think you have to do this stupid... And I just accidentally loaded. Great. I don't even know if you can make that jump. I guess it's a puzzle. I'm gonna try this way again and see if there, there's some way out of here. Oh, that's a fire brother. Screw you, fire brother. Yeah, I deserve that. But I'm still gonna kill you for it. Can I go down? No, I can't. Where did this go? But I don't want to be here. I don't know where I'd want to be, but I don't think it's there. I definitely think it's not in the fire. But Mario seems to disagree. And that's where I was before! I hate maze levels. Ah. I'm just not much of a puzzle... Well, I like puzzles sometimes, but... 
Whoa, it's monochrome land now. Except the sprites, I guess. But changing colors of sprites isn't always as easy. Changing the background. Well, it's pretty much never as easy. But I think I'm going to end this video here and... I'll be back whenever I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here. It's obviously not being here again. Thanks for tuning in.